Good Monday morning, South Florida. Hopefully you were able to get outside and enjoy our fabulous taste of fall this past weekend where we had the 60s. Saturday morning really was gorgeous, right? You know, it's still beautiful out there this morning. Temperatures has creeped up a bit. It's mild, comfortable, but look at the sunrise. Yeah, certainly Monday motivation for you as we look from our broad camera in Fort Lauderdale. We're seeing some clouds as we look from our Key West camera, but thankfully mainly dry in Broward and Dade County, keeping an eye on a few showers hours moving across Marathon where we're seeing that breeze out of the east for the most part five six miles an hour calm though conditions for Broward and Dade and yeah instead of the 60s we're seeing low 70s here so a little above our average low of 68 was 71 in Kendall and Homestead 74 in Fort Lauderdale 73 in Miami upper 70s through the Keys we are seeing the 60s through Central Florida 50s and 40s even further north of there in Big Ben and the Panhandle and we're seeing the 40s from Atlanta through DC New York City 36 in Boston, widespread 20s and 30s for the central northern U.S., but even as far south as Dallas right now near freezing. It is quiet on the west coast where we need the rain. It is still uh, very quiet and gusty winds not helping out with the wildfires in California. Seeing some wintry weather through parts of the mid-Atlantic northeast and through the Great Lakes and then we're seeing a little bit of shower activity through the Carolinas and Texas and the Gulf Coast states. So in terms of Wednesday, the travel outlook, the busiest travel day of the year, we're going to see a frontal boundary that could lead to a few showers, but high pressure is going to lead to very cold temperatures for much of the northeast New England areas or it could see windy weather and also some wintry precipitation there. The central U.S. is looking relatively quiet and mild and then it could be stormy could see some delays for the west coast as a storm system is forecast to move through but bring some much needed rain through parts of Carolina of California hopefully for us today though a little warmer 83 degrees scattered showers will be possible for boaters winds east southeast about five to ten knots seas to a light chop on the bays if you're headed to the beach because it's still going to be on the warm side this afternoon moderate risk of rip currents UV index is high so don't forget that sunblock and as we head into tonight, mild, partly cloudy, spotty showers and low 70s. The next few days, we will see a slightly better chance of spotty showers for your Tuesday near the mid 80s. Wednesday, the low 80s. Thanksgiving Day will wake up to temperatures in the upper 60s in the morning, a little cooler then, and then highs in the low 80s with a chance for spotty storms for Black Friday. Same deal. Maybe a couple of breezy showers here and there through the weekend.